Hello everyone, this is Ketish here. In this video, I'm going to go through the AQA Combined Science Biology Paper 1 Hyatt here okay, from 2022. This is question number two on cell biology. This question is about cell division. Write the biological structures in, from the box in the correct order of size. So you have cell, chromosome, gene and nucleus. So gene would be the smallest structure. Then it's the chromosome. Then it would be the nucleus. And finally, the cell. It's worthwhile remembering the order of the size of the structures. So as a quick note, this diagram explains these structures clearly so you have the gene which is part of the dna strand the dna strand be, makes up the chromosome the chromosomes are found inside the nucleus and the nucleus is found inside the cell Let me make it slightly bigger there you go right next question figure three shows how a fertilized egg cell can produce specialized cells so you have a fertilized egg cell which divides to become the embryo and then it divides further to become red blood cells, muscle cells and nerve cells through a process called A. Name process A, that would be cell differentiation. So that is called differentiation or cell differentiation. How many cell div divisions are needed to form a 16 cell embryo from the original fertilized cell? So in order to do that, it's the easiest way is to just simply write it out. So one cell after one division will become two. Remember it multiplies or copies itself. Two of them will become four. Four becomes eight and eight becomes 16. So that's your first cell division second cell division third and your fourth so you would need a total of four cell divisions question 2.4 in humans a fertilized egg cell contains 23 pa pairs of chromosomes how many chromosomes will there be in each of the embryo cells now in the fertilized egg cell, if it's 23 pairs, remember that's the haploid number, half of it. In each of the embryonic cells or embryo cells, it should have the diploid number, which is double. So 23 times 2 should give you 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. Figure 4 represents a cell cycle from a human embryonic cell. You have start of the cell cycle, which is stage 1, which is nearly 80% of it. Stage 2 is mitosis and stage 3. Describe one change in the cell that occurs during each of the stages of the cell cycle. So what happens during stage 1? Well, the cell carries out its usual function or growth of cell or increase in number of cells subcellular structures. You could also say the DNA replicates or the chromosome number duplicates or doubles. Stage two during mitosis. What is happening during mitosis? Well, one set of chromosomes are pulled to each end of the cell, or you could say two nuclei are formed. And the last stage is cytoplasm and cell membrane divides, and the two identical cells are formed. So as a quick note, just to refer or review the cell cycle, here's a quick diagram. And you can compare 
this to what's been given so this g1 s and g2 phase is all included in stage one and the mitosis is stage two in this diagram and stage three is the cytokinesis hence stage three the cell and cell membrane divides and two identical cells are formed is part of the cytokinesis phase so the stage one is the interface where different things are happening the cell growth the dna replication and preparation for mitosis next question cell division is important in the growth of multicellular organisms figure five shows the mean height of boys and girls from a birth to age 18 years so the dotted line is the boys and the solid line is the girls here so they're starting at about 60 64 centimeters and it's showing from 0 to 18 years old okay what's the question asking okay it's a six mark question compare the growth of boys with the growth of girls use data from figure five in your answer so there's a couple of things that we can actually note down now for six marks you're comparing the growth of boys and the growth of girls well the boys seem to have started off at about 64 centimeters at birth the girls are starting at about 60. boys seem to be taller than the girls right up to about age 11 years that's 11 years and they seem to have the same rate because the line is actually following each other and after about 11 years the boys have actually slowed down or they're continuing with the girls rate of growth is actually increasing sharply so after 11 years the girls are actually taller right up to about 14 years and then after 14 years their growth seems to have actually been straight been stagnant or remains the same whereas after 14 years the boys are actually growing starting to grow fast at about from 13 to about 17 years yeah right and their rate of growth is actually much faster and after about 18 they have hit their maximum height girls seem to have reached their maximum height after about 14 years old now both the boys and the girls have the same height at this point and at this point there and the rate of growth for girls is higher early on than for the boys so let's write all of these points so if i was to compare in general terms and right, here's the bullet points i would write obviously you don't have to write all of these bullet points about four of these bullet points is more than enough to get four marks so Boys' height at birth is slightly higher than girls' height. Boys are slightly taller than girls up to age 11. Boys are approximately 4 centimeters taller than girls up to age 11. Boys or girls and boys are the same height at age 11 and 14. Girls are taller than boys between 11 and age 14. Girls and boys are the same height at age 14 boys are taller than girls above age 14 boys are 5 to 18 centimeter taller than girls above age 14 boys eventually grow taller than girls boys grow carry on growing for a longer time than girls and girls stop growing aged 14 and boys stop growing age 17 that's the general comments now to compare the rate of growth rate of growth is similar in both genders up to age 10 girls grow faster than boys between 10 and 14 years growth spurt occurs in younger age in girls growth spurt occurs age 10 in girls and age 13 in boys increased rate of growth in girls age 10 to 14 and in boys it's between 13 to 17. Question 
give one way that cell division by mitosis is important in fully grown animals. Why do we need cell growth? It's mainly for repair of tissues or replacement of dead cells. That brings us to the end of question number two and I will see you in the next video.